In the arcade racing genre, there are many notable series that players fondly remember. There is one particular franchise that stood out as one of the more interesting, but yet also divisive series. Grid started out strong, yet as more games were released, the series saw a slow decline until its rumored cancellation. How did a simple yet fun track racer end up losing its popularity over the years? This is a retrospective look at the downfall of the Grid series. Grid, also known as Race Driver Grid, was made as a successor to the Toka Race Driver series. Released in 2008, it became a huge hit. People loved the grippy handling, great physics, team management, unique vehicles, damage model, and just the overall atmosphere. For many, it was the arcade track racer that they always wanted. Codemasters successfully reinvented their Toka Race Driver series, and all they had to do was keep that momentum yet the subsequent sequels ended up not being able to capture the same success. There was a lot of anticipation for Grid 2, being it was 5 years since the first game's release. There were substantial improvements made, with better graphics, increased sense of speed, penalties, and more content, while keeping the motorsport aesthetics, good career, and great physics from the first game. While the game did not have a first-person interior camera and got rid of the team management system, its handling would become its main talking point. The game introduced the True Feel Break to Drift handling model, phasing away the grippy handling of the first game. The game became extremely controversial as many were upset about the handling changes while others loved the new drifty model. This made Grid 2 one of the most divisive entries in the series. While the game seemed to do very well, Codemasters was not happy at the negative feedback they were receiving. They decided to return to the series roots by heavily focusing on motorsports. Yet this overcorrection ended up alienating fans even more. Autosport was essentially a reworked Grid 2 that was only released a year after. The handling was tweaked to remove the break the drift aspect and was made much more grippy. However, the lackluster brake power was not increased from Grid 2, leading to much slower cornering speeds. The game also focused more on team play, having options to dictate your teammate on track. Aspects like the first person interior camera and racing disciplines were added back. Lastly, aesthetically the game became much more professional with its soundtrack and UI design. Overall, the changes made the game a much more serious simcade experience, leading to a mixed player reception. Some were happy the game was a lot less arcadey than Grid 2, but others felt the game swung too heavily in the simulation direction. Also, since the game came out after the release of the PlayStation 4 and Xbox One, having a title on older gen consoles meant it ended up getting overlooked. Despite Autosport seeing moderate success on mobile and Nintendo Switch, it was clear that the next entry needed to reinvigorate the series. Yet the follow-up would become its worst release. The series was rebooted with the release of Grid 2019. With an updated graphics engine, new physics model, revamped car models, nemesis system for AI, and more, this should have been the slam dunk success the franchise needed. Despite being marketed well and getting favorable reviews from critics, it bombed with players. Many complained about the slow sense of speed, slidey handling, lackluster content, downgraded damage model, and absent features like team management and sponsors. It felt like the developers were still trying too hard to appeal to the sim racing fans while forgetting the fundamental aspects of what made Grid, Grid. 2019 is considered the worst entry in the series, which is terrible for what should be a triumphant reboot of a declining franchise. With the lowest point of the series reached, Codemasters made one last effort to fix their mistakes. While the sequel was a major improvement, it would ultimately seal the fate of the series. Grid Legends was essentially a big update for Grid 2019, including much more content, a story mode, improved graphics, better sense of speed, grippier handling, sponsors, and a dynamic soundtrack. These changes finally fleshed out and improved the core experience enough to make it a worthwhile game for players. However, even though Legends was received much better by both fans and critics, it ended up selling poorly. Due to a lack of marketing, 
Releasing the same day as Elden Ring, and releasing a week before Gran Turismo 7, the game fell under the radar for many players, even for fans of the series. Also, some steered clear of the game due to particular aspects like the vehicle physics, damage, and AI not being fully reworked from Grid 2019. Just as the series was getting back on track with Legends, the fumbles in release date and marketing ended up sealing Grid's grave. Each game has its problems, but a core issue of the series was just not being able to recapture the success and love for the first game. Each entry always felt like it was under the shadow of the first, which is a real shame as most of the sequels are still great games. There are plenty of redeeming qualities of Grid 2, Autosport, and Legends. Heck, I honestly enjoy Legends a lot more than the first game, so it's certainly not as black and white as some fans make it out to be. Even so, it's quite telling that the first game is a majority fan favorite, which rarely happens in the video game space. While I spent a lot of time talking about the faults of the series, there is one huge outside factor to consider. The rise of the simulation racers and the fall of arcade racers cannot be understated here. With the increased popularity of the realistic track racer, Grid being an unrealistic track racer put it in a weird spot. For the hardcore sim racing players, the series really didn't appeal to them due to simplified vehicle physics and gameplay. I can imagine even for some arcade racing players, the series might have been too sim-like, with its overall motorsport focus for its cars, tracks, and penalties. Of course, there are still many fans from Grid all across the racing genre. Yet for wide market appeal, the franchise ended up being just a little too niche as time continued on. From the mistakes of the sequels, to the rise of simulation racers, these main factors ended up damaging the reputation of the series. With rumors of the franchise being shelved, it's safe to assume that this truly might be the end. Despite its issues, Grid is such a special series as it's one of the few arcade track racers that trudged on despite its rocky existence. There will never be a series quite like Grid, and because of that, we will sorely miss it. This has been Gamer Alex. I hope you enjoyed the video and have a great day.